I'm Ethan Penner, and I am a founder and managing partner at Mosaic uh, Real Estate um, Investors. We are headquartered in the Los Angeles area and have offices in New York. And I'm here to speak to you uh, about the very interesting topic, how one can invest in a severe market dislocation, which we find ourselves in, I think, today. So, um, you know, I, I think one of the things that I would dispel immediately is that the rules have changed. In fact, the rules of investing in a market dislocation are very much the same as they are in normal times. But the price for violating those rules is much higher. That's really the difference. So what are the rules? Well, the rules, in my mind, are always the same. Invest in viable real estate and make sure that you do so with staying power. Now, as I said, those are the rules all the time. But the price for violating those rules in dislocations like the one we're in the midst of today can be very severe. So, and also, adhering to those rules become a little more challenging today. So what would viable real estate be today? Uh, a lot of real estate that I think one might have cavalierly considered being viable in the past is not so clear as being viable today. And how much staying power is enough staying power? Will we be mired in this dislocation for six more months, 18 more months? Will the economy return to normal and hotels be occupied as they were uh, in 2019, three years from now, five years from now? And again, the viability question for some of them, will they ever? And so while the rules haven't changed, adhering to the rules has become much more complicated and violating the rules brings with it a much more severe penalty. The other thing that I would say about uh, investing in complicated or dislocated markets like the one we're in today is that you don't need to find messy situations in order to find attractive investments with attractive returns. And I think this is something that most people don't fully appreciate. So back in the early 1990s, when real estate and really the broader economy was mired in a terrible dislocation, I noticed that the mechanism for originating first mortgages in America had died. And so uh, I was able to create a CMBS market and create a real estate financing business making first mortgage loans at 65% of the depressed value and making an untoward amount of money uh, packaging those loans and creating a market and selling those loans in the form of securities. So there are opportunities for high yield because when there's a dislocation, the capital market system and the price of money becomes dislocated not only for challenged assets, but it actually ripples through the entire system and affects the pricing of less challenged assets. So you don't need to get your hands bloody and take massive risks in order to make attractive returns. And I think that's something that many people miss when they uh, invest in markets like this. In the end, I would say that the hallmark of a dislocation and the hallmark of an opportunistic investment period is when the majority of people are unsure of the future. And it's not clear that the future will resemble the past when it's not clear that betting on America is a good idea. And believe me from experience, that's exactly when it's time to bet on America. So it's never been a bad idea to bet on the USA. Betting on the USA, really, there's nothing more um, uh, kind of straightforward than investing in high quality viable real estate. So that's my plan. Mm -hmm.